This segment of the news is brought to you by Finance of America. For all your mortgage needs, call Amy Childress or Shannon Keller at 702-372-6607. News is also brought to you by Great Basin College, a pioneer in distance education. Your success is their tradition. Now offering over 25 degree and certificate programs in Pahrump and online. In this week's court report, the area man arrested and charged with first-degree murder in connection to the death of the badly bruised three-year-old Yesenia Camp has had another court date for a status hearing added to the justice court docket. During Cole Engelson's recent status hearing, Engelson appeared while being held in custody and his public defender advised that they have spoken with the state and agreed to set another status hearing. The defendant's attorney also provided the state and court with a request for discovery in open court. Engelson's lawyer made an oral motion for an investigator and will submit an order to the court. The only unknown factor would be for the amount that the court would award for fees. The court granted the defense's motion and stated that the order could be submitted with an unknown amount. And defense counsel also requested that the state disclose any knowledge of all discovery that may have been destroyed or or any equipment malfunctions, if any. The state agreed that they would be forthcoming if or when anything is brought to their attention. The court continued this hearing to November 2nd. Then the defendant was remanded back to the custody of the Nye County Sheriff's Office, where he remains on a no-bail hold. Shandaro Marcel Thomas has apparently rejected the offer that was recently on the table regarding his case. Thomas is the Pahrump man who was arrested for allegedly shooting a man on the 4th of July after also allegedly physically assaulting a female who is the mother of his child. During Thomas's pretrial hearing, the court advised that an amended criminal complaint has been received and filed by the court. Thomas's public defender stated he has received a copy and waived the formal reading of the complaint. The defendant's attorney advised that defense has rejected the prosecution's offer. Additionally, Thomas's lawyer noted that bail reduction was requested and the prosecution opposed, but the court granted that motion and reduced the defendant's bail from $200,000 to $100,000 cash or bond. The court confirmed that a preliminary hearing is set for August 30th. Then the defendant was remanded back to the custody of Nye County Detention. Thomas now remains in custody, $100,000 cash or bond, connected to the charges of attempted murder with use of a deadly weapon, battery with use of a deadly weapon resulting in substantial bodily harm, three counts of assault with a deadly weapon, and robbery. However, the bail will remain at $3,000 cash or bond, connected to Thomas's separate domestic battery companion case charge related to this incident. In addition to his prelim for his felony case charges, Thomas also has a status hearing scheduled August 30th regarding his domestic battery charge. This has been your court report. I'm Unette Gentry for News 46. Well, two vehicles sustained moderate damage last night after colliding on the west side of Pahrump. Emergency crews were dispatched to a two-vehicle accident on Highway 372 and Charleston Park yesterday afternoon. The accident occurred between a sports car and a pickup truck. All occupants declined to be transported to local medical facilities. Officials say that the sports car lost control around the turn at Charleston Park, and that's the cause of this collision. The accident investigation is under the control of the Nye County Sheriff's Office. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Now Angela Miles tells us about the economic impact of the solar eclipse. Tapping our news, the great American money eclipse. As millions stop to see the total solar eclipse of the sun this week, Challenger Gray and Christmas calculates it cost employers an estimated $694 million. Many gas stations along the path of the phenomenon ran out of fuel due to long lines at the pump, while millions of dollars poured into local economies and on trading floors, traders turned to TVs. A jury in Los Angeles is ordering Johnson & Johnson to pay $417 million to a woman who claimed the talc baby powder caused ovarian cancer. J&J plans to appeal and contends that science 
supports the safety of Johnson's baby powder. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway lost a big one. Berkshire made a $9 billion bid for Texas electric grid giant Encore, but at the last minute, Sempra Energy topped it with $9.45 billion and got the deal. Thanks, Angela. And an update on that tragic naval collision. More local and national news after this break.